Oh, you can see my books. Work hard, play hard. Oh, hey! So today, as you can tell by this title, this title, title, we are going to have story time! <laughs> this particular story takes place my sophomore year of college, and <laughs> no, that's a lie, that's a lie. This story actually takes place my freshman year of college when I lived in the dorms with my roommate Emily. It's a really funny story. We, nerd moment, um, we decided, well it wasn't really a choice, we had those little squares that you use to like hang up posters and stuff. When we took them down at the end of the year, there was paint ripped off along with the squares, so um, don't buy those. Buy the command strips, just tip of the day. So we're like, oh, what are we gonna do? Because we don't want to pay a fine for doing this to our dorm room because you can't like mess it up, you know. So we, <laughs> we went to Ace's, Ace, Ace, Ace. Ace Hardware Store? Ace is the helpful place? Is that the slogan? Well anyways, we went to a paint place and we went to go get paint. So we took a strip of paint from my room and we had just this little <laughs> patch of paint that we brought with us and we're like, hey, can you match this? And so the guy did and we're like, oh great! So we took it back to our dorm and we went to paint the parts where the paint had been pulled off by the little squares. Um, it, it didn't match. It didn't match at all. It matched in store, but when we got it home, yeah, it was a totally different color. <laughs> we went back to the helpful place. We're just gonna call it that because I keep forgetting what it's called. We talked to a guy and we're like, hey, yeah, this guy yesterday, he wasn't in that day, the next day. This guy yesterday like matched us this paint, but it doesn't. It didn't match when we got back to our room. The employee who was there was like, "Yeah, that's not even a real paint color. I don't know how he mixed that. Um, that color is like not even in stock. He just mixed some random colors together. So he just sold us some random paint that he not even a real color. Not even a real color." Well, what do we do now? So then I called my mom and she's like, well, you know, you could just paint the entire room. You know, it's not a horrible idea. We bought more of the paint that didn't match. I think it was the paint that didn't match. It might have been new paint. I don't really remember. We painted our entire dorm room, <laughs> which you're not supposed to do. And we're like, we're gonna get away with this. Like, it looks perfect. We did really ghetto painting too. We used um, paper plates to like put the paint on. And like, we, we're college students. We can't afford like the tray and the roller. This looks perfect. No one will ever know that we painted it. Well, you know, about two weeks after we moved out, we get a letter. <laughs> and the letter states, um, room painted wrong color. <laughs> I think we each had to pay like $70. Moral of the story is use command strips, not devil squares, because the devil squares will ruin your life. I hope you guys liked it, and I will see you next time. Reach out and touch. So we had those little squares. Yeah, you know what a square looks like. <laughs> Ew.